Hello there, and welcome back to another video, and today I will be unboxing, speed building, and reviewing the first build of LEGO set number 42135, Monster Jam El Toro Loco, from LEGO Technic. Now this set has 247 pieces, and of course that comes with zero minifigures, so let's just jump straight into it. So, on the front of the box, there is, of course, a big central picture of the Monster Truck itself, and you can also see it has the Monster Jam logo in the bottom left corner, and if you look in the top right corner, you can see that this is actually a pullback and go vehicle. And then, of course, you can also see that it is two in one. Over on the back of the box, there is of course another picture of the main build, as well as a picture of the alternate build there. And there's also these nice statistics down here of the actual monster truck, so, I'll p so you can just pause it now if you want to read about it. Now I am super excited to get into this, so I'm not going to wait any longer. Here's everything that came inside the box. Three unnumbered bags of Lego. Four tyres. One piece to facilitate the pullback and go feature. One 78 page instruction booklet and a rather large sticker sheet. Now I am super excited to build this, so today I am going to build this and wrap it up into a very quick speed build. So, here is the completed build. Build time today was about 55 minutes, and let's just jump straight into it. So, first of all, I'd just like to say I do think the shape is very um, accurate to the actual truck, or as accurate as you can get with Lego, because of course it's never going to look exactly like the real thing. Um, and similarly, all the sticker placements are either identical or at least very similar to where they are on the real monster truck. Um, and they've, they've used a few different interesting techniques to um, recreate the monster truck as best they can. So if we start at the back here, you can see there's this big wheel arch over the wheel um, with, of course, El Toro Loco written on there. Um, and I also like that they've used this piece down here to um, show the suspension. It is a bit disappointing that you can see that it just ends there and they haven't added another one on top to, uh, to give you the impression that it carries on. Um, but I don't really know much about cars so maybe it doesn't go up all the way. Uh, and then if we move along to the door... There's another nice sticker there with the Monster Jam logo on as well. And um, I was a bit confused as to what this was at first. I thought maybe it was some sort of step to help the driver get in. Uh, but no, these are these seem to be some sort of exhaust pipe. And I think it doesn't do a good job of representing that. It's This is way too prominent to be the exhaust pipes. Uh, if we move even further forward, you can see there's this nice arch going round over the teeth, which are actually brick built, and I really like that. They could have just used a sticker, um, but they chose to make it brick built instead, and I think that's a really nice choice. If we move round to the front, you can see that that isn't as defined. There's a lot of just random holes everywhere. Um, there's a few 
bits that are recognisable though that there's this monster jam bumper there uh, and of course the big wheels apart from that though there's nothing really um recognisable you you can get a good look at underneath the car there you can see right the way under and you can see it does have a fair bit of clearance there uh, so that's good it can help it go over rough terrain uh, but yeah, apart from that, there's nothing really to look at from the front. And then, of course, this side is exactly the same as the other. Similarly, there's not much to look at at the back either. There's another couple of stickers here, um, which are true to the real thing, so I like that. And this big grey box here is actually the box that is used for... Uh, the pull back and go action. I'll show you more of that in a minute. Uh, but yeah, there's nothing really to look at round at the back either. Now, I've just propped this up with this clear brick here so we can get a good look at the top. Uh, so if you look at the top, there's not really much going on back in the back end here, but I didn't really expect there to be. Uh, and then there's also these nice horns uh, but actually I've got a couple of problems with those horns. First of all, um, if you look at the end of the horns, you can see that there's actually a bit of axle sticking out. And that is because of the piece they decided to use to attach the horns. Uh, I'm not really sure why they used that, because if they used uh, these, which had already been used in the set, um, there wouldn't be any gap at all uh, and I think that looks a lot better um, and my second problem is that these aren't actually fixed down so you can actually move them up and you can point them right down uh, but yeah they're the big drawback of the set I feel um, not a game uh, not a deal breaker but uh, just a bit disappointing and then you can also see there's another nice few stickers for the bonnet uh, with some more of those fire details. Uh, and they've also got a raised section in the middle for the air intake, even though that isn't a thing on the actual vehicle. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this set is in fact a pull back and go set, which means if you pull it back, it will go. Uh, of course, there's not much room in this box, so I can't properly show you that um, at the minute. But um, if you wind it up, it does actually go a fair speed, so that's quite nice. Um, but yeah, I, I will film this in a more open location for you. I tried it on this flat ground here, and it went a fair distance. And because of the big tyres, you can also do it on the stones. All in all, I think this is a great set. It has a fair bit of resemblance to the um, real monster truck. Of course, they're not identical, but you're never going to get it identical with Lego at this scale. And I think they did a fair job with it. Now, like I said, there are a few issues um, with the pieces used to attach the horns. Um, the fact you can move the horns around and these exhaust pipes as well uh, which can also be moved easily but that's not as big an issue uh, but I think the positives of this set heavily outweigh that it's a fun one to roll around especially with the pull back and go feature um, a bit sticker heavy, but that's needed to get it to look like the real build. If you weren't bothered about them looking the same, you could um, miss them out. I don't think it would look quite as good, but um, they weren't. Most of them weren't too difficult to apply. These two um, on the wheel arches and on the other side, I'd say, were the hardest to apply. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I think this is a really fun set, um, especially if you're a fan of Monster Jam, and I know that there's a few other of these Monster Jam sets. Um, so yeah, I think it's a great set.
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.